Hi guys, welcome to Talk Techie to Me. My name's Brooke. And I'm Elizabeth. And today we're gonna to talk about Lockheed Martin Innovations. Today we're here with Danny, who studies quantum technology and applied research at Lockheed Martin. Danny, is it possible to make a battery that never dies? Well, if we start to look at different types of paradigms like quantum mechanics, the answer is yes. So the beauty of quantum is we try to exploit the smallest parts of our universe. So for example, you plug a thumb drive into a laptop, download some files, there's energy associated with that information exchange. And if we use quantum thermodynamics, we can actually extract energy from that thermal environment. So what are some of the applications of this technology? Well, the really cool applications are deep space travel and long-term space travel. As you can imagine, those types of spacecrafts will require a lot of energy for a very long period of time. And so using quantum batteries, we can actually charge and recharge these batteries just by using the function of the spacecraft. Wow, so hypothetically, Elizabeth and I can hop in a spaceship and go on forever and ever. I'm not getting in a spaceship with you. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so bringing it back to Earth, what are some of the applications that we could see here? So anything that uses a conventional battery, a quantum battery could use. So the beauty of the quantum battery is it actually can put more energy into the same amount of space. So ever wonder why cell phones keep getting bigger and bigger? If you want to increase battery life, you have to put more batteries in the cell phone. My mind is blown. I literally thought it was because they wanted us to buy more cell phones. So another question for you in relation to a car battery. Is that the same? Is that different? So car batteries are based on electrochemistry. And if we need more energy, we just put more batteries in the car. And if you can imagine using batteries for long periods of time, there's heat that builds up over time and that can actually lead to catastrophic failures and even explosion. So using a quantum technology or quantum battery, you don't have those types of risks because it's a whole different type of paradigm. So how are we developing this technology at Lockheed Martin? So think about the F-35 program. Nearly 40 years ago, there were technologists looking at innovations that were gonna make that fighter different than its predecessors. So we have to do the same type of thing when it comes to thinking about energy solutions 20 to 40 years from now. So we need to cultivate and innovate upon new types of paradigms like quantum technologies now in order to make those types of changes in the future. This is so interesting. How did you get into this field? So actually completely by chance. I'm a traditional engineer, come from a software and systems background, but I really wanted to start looking at the bigger problems, the bigger issues that we're gonna face in the future. And ultimately the footprint in which we all consume energy, we're in a climate crisis, we're in an energy crisis, and we need to all do our part. And quantum technologies is one really interesting way to do that for now to space and beyond. Well, Danny, you have inspired me, you have wowed me, and it's been great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching, and we want to talk techie with you. So make sure you comment below, leave a question, and tell us if I should get in a spaceship with Brooke, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.